Hi everybody, it's Lane with layoutaday.com and I wanted to shoot this quick video to show you how to create a text box for your scrapbook journaling in a Microsoft Word document. The first thing you want to do is open up Microsoft Word and start um, with a new blank document. You can see mine right here. Then you're going to go up here to the top and it says insert. Click on insert, then you're going to insert a text box. Now, this allows you to draw your text box using a click and drag. So it starts right where the cursor is, and I am going to draw a text box that's going to be four by about three inches. And you can see I'm using the guidelines on um, the top up here, the ruler, and on the side to give me an approximation. Don't worry about getting it exact at this point. I'm going to show you how to go in and make it exactly the size you want if you have very specific measurements that you want to use. Now you can see that I've got a cursor inside my text box. I could start um, typing right now, la 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 la. Um, but what I want to do instead is make sure this box is exactly the right size. So how I do that is I double click on the gray area, the frame around my box. This will bring up a new menu. It's called the Format Text Box menu and it's going to allow me to do many different things. It's going to allow me to adjust the fill of the box. Let's say I wanted to do white text on a colored background. I could change that here. I could also change the color of the line that is around my text box. Now I want to have a guide on mine that's going to be a very pale gray that shows me where to trim. So I'm going to set this as at a very pale gray. I could set it to a dashed line. I could make the line lighter. I could change the, um, the look of it if I wanted to use that as part of my design. I'm going to just set it at a very light gray so when I print it out I have those trimming guides around my box. Then I could also adjust the size. So let's see, you can see here that it's not exactly 3 by 4, it's 3.13 by 4.13. So let's go ahead and change that to exactly 3 inches by 4 inches. There we go, it did that for me. And I'm going to go back to the menu here to show you what else you can do. You can change the layout. This is if you wanted to add an image to your box or something like that, but we're going to skip that for now. Then if you go to the last one over here on the right, the text box, it shows you the internal margin for the box how far in from the sides and the top and bottom your writing is going to be, your letters are going to be. Right now it's set for 0.1 on the left, 0.1 on the right, and 0.05 at the top and bottom. That's a little bit small for the top and bottom. So I'm actually going to set this to 0.15. This is all personal preference. You can play around with it and see what works for you. You can see it moved it down there a little bit. Now, if I were going to create something for my page, I would just start typing about here is my journaling. Whoops, I spelled journaling wrong. Journaling, la 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 la. Once that's done, once I've typed up everything, I can go back and highlight this and change the size of my typing. I can change the font of my typing, just like you would on a normal um, Word document, all using these um, these uh, menu guides up here. I could change my text to be blue. I could do, um, or any other color I want, a lot of different things I could do. Then once it's ready to go, I simply hit Control P and it's going to print it out. And what I do when I'm creating something like this is I print out a um, rough copy first on just plain old white printing paper. Um, and then once it's exactly right, I check how it is on my layout, then I'll go back and feed in my white cardstock or my colored cardstock so I'm not wasting cardstock. I do a, just a rough print first on regular old um, printing paper. So that's it. Just a quick video to show you how to do this, just the most basic version possible. And uh, in future videos, maybe I'll show you how to do some funky stuff too. But that's it for today. Lane with LayoutAday.com. Thanks for tuning in. Bye, guys.